In this video, learn a simple, profitable, and powerful stock trading strategy to jumpstart your trading progress, finally. Hi, I'm Mike Bellafuri, co-founder of SME Capital, and we're a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan. And I'm also the author of the trading classic, One Good Trade, and The Playbook. Click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos that we're producing for you in the trading community. See how a savvy SMB intern breaks down in step-by-step -step detail a trade very much worth adding to your trading playbook. Let's get to work. Today I want to explain the overage carriage squeeze. This is a trading setup on a previous playbook I made called the undercarriage squeeze. I think the reason why I was able to execute this trade decently in real time is because I've seen a similar setup before. So sector analysis, for the past few days, we found that the tech sector is strong as seen in QQQ. With this, we're likely to see some sector rotation. The, um, this morning, the market was being pushed higher by semiconductors along with financials and industrials. Big picture. I think what's important to look at when seeing the spy chart is every single dip is getting bought up. And every single breakout usually continues higher as we see for the past two weeks. Dr. S uh, said during this morning meeting, there's some value information that he got from other hedge fund managers that they're very bullish yet they haven't put their money to work yet. And this is valuable for intraday traders for like us is that we'll see that weak stocks that are heavily shorted can break higher as a short squeeze and dips are likely to be bought up in strong stocks. And here's the QQQ, as we can see that it's breaking in all time highs. And just to clarify, the QQQ is the focus of the NASDAQ 100 index that is heavily dominated by big tech names. Daily fundamentals. Okay, we see here that Tesla's consolidating in a descending triangle right around the 850 zone that was acting as resistance for about a month. This is great for taking long trades because it's unable to move lower and it's holding near all time highs. It's breaking out in larger time frames. SPY is also moving higher, and the short interest is 11%. And on this particular day, Tesla was gapping higher. The overcarriage VWAP squeezed. The criteria for the setup is the stock must have 10% or more short interest, breaking out on larger time frames. This has edge because we're going to see that there's big buyers behind it, behind it with a fundamental catalyst. The stock is gapping up 2% or more during pre-market, so it makes it a stock in play as long as the relative volume is following through. We must see an opening drive lower. Price must consolidate over VWAP for 15 minutes or more. When you see a stock holding over VWAP, it's considered a good risk reward for shorts to add to their position. And also the low volume and consolidation over VWAP is showing that a lot of traders are sitting on the sidelines for an anticipated move. Um, with this, when you see consolidation, usually with contraction comes expansion. And the consolidation must be tight and on lower relative volume. It allows for tight risk and you're risking the low of the consolidation range. And then reason to sells in these situations can be a blow off top and 921 EMA cross showing that the momentum or trend is over. Uh, price target hit, whether that be um, a resistance above, an unusual seller on the tape, or your stop gets hit, which is below the consolidation area. So there's something I really like so far about what you've done, and that's how specific you are and what you're looking for. You have clearly defined variables that you're looking for. You have clearly found a setup that can move a lot higher from where it is. You know exactly what you're looking for. You're putting yourself in a really good situation to catch something that could move away from price quite a bit, meaning you can make a lot on the trade. Well, as you're developing your playbook, I would encourage you to do more of this. The specificness of your variables for what you're looking for, for how you want to get in and how you want to get out is, is very, very strong. Yeah, exactly. And then there's other variables you can put into it. Like you see what the range is that it's consolidating over VWAP and how long it's consolidating along with, this is a picture perfect consolidation with a drying up of volume. As we clearly see that it's just getting lower and lower and lower. And then as soon as we get this break, then that's as likely we're going to see the continuation higher. And this is where you want to add to your position and, this is the, the, the now moment where you wanna get in. And then coming off of this breakout, we see a very nice continuation higher with a blow off top or a piercing candle. 
Uh, as on the way up, we're seeing continuation in volume, and this breakout is confirmed by a one minute candle closing above the consolidation. You're seeing it on the tape, and you're going to see the volume coming in. This is the original trade that I've gotten the over undercarriage squeeze from. Is this first one was in United. Same thing, we see a move lower, we move up, we consolidate 25 minutes, break out in volume, and we get a huge continuation higher with another blow off top. And then here are these two trades. They're different stocks, one's United, one's Tesla, and they're very similar setup. Both have an opening drive lower, both have greater than 10% short interest, both are consolidating over 20 minutes. There's a decrease of volume and consolidation range, similar price action in a way, they're both gapping up. And then the difference is, is they have different arbol and the average true range with these trades are going to be different. If you want to learn three real world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven figure big money earner, check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing right now at the top right hand corner of your screen. That's going to open up this free registration page in the new window. So don't worry, you're not going to lose this video. You're going to learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education. I also want to show you guys two setups. These are from today. So this is Wayfair. Um, I wanted to see if I could find some setups in this. Um, this I didn't play this because it wasn't in my pre-market plan. But same thing, we got to move lower, we get consolidate for 30 minutes, and we get a move higher. Um, Wayfair uh, fits all the criteria. They have a 28% short interest and they're gapping up higher in pre-market. Um, they may all, this meets all the criteria for a under or over carriage VWAP squeeze. And then there's another one, same thing. This is also today. We get to move lower, we move up, we consolidate over VWAP for this one it was for 30 minutes in a 90 or in the ninth range. And we get a breakout on elevated volume and continuation higher. Like, these setups all look super similar to me. I'm sure it does absolutely for you guys as well. You can find edge in this type of setup. Have you built a filter yet for either of these trades? That's what I was gonna to get to. I have not, and if it was, this would have came up for sure. Yeah, and I think this is something that you wanna be working with Nick on as soon as possible. And, you know, I reach out to him. I'll, I'll connect you guys. But this is something you want to have built this weekend because you want to let technology, one of the huge advantages at our firm is we can build technology, custom technology really quickly that we want. Very simple filter for you to build. Uh, you'll be able to do it very quickly. And you know Nick will assist you if you need help with, with it. Um, very powerful alert for you to have with your trading. This is a terrific setup. We call it actually a different name. Um, in our, which, which I know you guys have gone through in our training program, fine for you to rename it a little bit. And this is a little bit different because you add the, the short interest in it, which I actually kind of like. Uh, but it's very similar to one of the best trades that we find for intraday trading. And just the crux of it is that consolidation for a long period of time in a stock that's in play, okay, denotes that there are people positioning long and there are people positioning short intraday. There are, there are some big bets being made long and there's some big bets being made short. And when it breaks from that tight consolidation, particularly if it continues and the trend that it looked like it was heading in, you're gonna get all those people who were holding it up buying. You're gonna get all the shorts covering. You're gonna get a lot, you're gonna get some trend traders in there seeing that this is strong wanting to buy. Um, and you're gonna get particularly you mentioned on the daily chart, those breakout traders, they're, they're gonna be popping that up as well. So there's a lot, there's a lot of people that are gonna to wanna to be buying the stock for which you can, you can join. And it's something that can continue for a, a decent ride to the upside. Um, so it's a really good setup, really good setup to find.
All right, what else do we have? I just want to point out one more thing about this is the risk reward on these trades is great because you're risking the bottom of this range with a one minute candle closing below per se because you want price and time to be below. And in Tesla's particular case, this is a, a one to 15 risk reward just if you would have played it ideally to the blow off top. Like, so the risk reward in these, in these setups are, are very good. I'm going to take that trade quite often. A one to 15 risk reward is, is, a, is a good trade to be in. The trade management in this, um, I could have done much better with uh, my sizing and um, adding to my position. Uh, my first entry was at the bottom of this consolidation range, which I was seeing on the tape and seeing buyers coming around this 936 area or 935 area. Um, and I added again, once I saw it, it was getting a little tighter, a little tighter, and then we move up. And I actually took off most of my position, unfortunately, right here, but I held on to partials and then I just uh, had a very small core throughout the rest. Um, what I could have done better is added here, maybe take off a small portion here and then just ride the momentum until I see my reason to sell. I'll just explain a little, some of the important things that I uh, key points I saw on the tape. Uh, when we were in the consolidation range, every time we got to the bottom of the range, I was seeing the bid stepping up. It was thin on the ask and offer and buyers were holding the bid and refreshing. As soon as it broke out of the consolidation, that's when the time and sales started to speed up. Again, the bids were really stepping in. Uh, most transactions were on the ask, big prints are also on the ask, and uh, t time and sale was accelerating. I think the important thing with this trade is for me to be able to recognize and to see the price action, the volume, and the taper all behaving in a way that has edge, and for me to enter the now moment opportunity flow. When I see the trade and it, and it matches my criteria, I will take it every time. This is because I'll be able to track the win rate and get big if this setup works for me. This is a high quality setup with edge and recognize this in real time will allow me to scale the trader. And I think what's important about this is the, is to find the easy money. And I think is easy money is identifying the opportunities that provide the best risk reward by gathering checks that have edge. And then the last part of this review is, um, I would really, I will do this this weekend is build a script to scan for this setup. I have your slide right here where you go over the variables, that gets you into the trade. So one, the stock must have above a 10% short interest. Number two, breaking out on a larger time frame. Number three, stock is gapping 2% or more. Number four, price must consolidate over VWAP for 15 minutes or more. And number five, consolidation must be tight and lower relative volume. And I don't think you've talked about that yet, Coleman, which is in that consolidation, what do you mean and what are you looking for when you say lower relative volume in the consolidation? So when, it's, when price is in that consolidation within a range, the volume in that time is gonna be lower than the opening drive lower. And when we see the consolidation in that range, a lot of traders are gonna, uh, I would see that as is like indecision or a lot of traders are sitting on the sideline waiting for that breakout to happen or that next move to happen. Yeah, and I like how you're adding a high short interest for this as well. That's gonna cause, you know, particularly from the long side, that's gonna cause the stock to move a little bit more because you've got more natural buyers who are covering their shorts. So that's, I like, I like the addition of that variable as well. And then you go on to say why this has edge. One, the price action is breaking out on a larger time frame with bigger buyer behind it with news. Two, sectors moving higher with news and other stocks. Three, holding above EWAP, good risk reward for shorts to add to their position. The greater the squeeze for the long. Number four, low volume and consolidation means traders waiting on the sidelines for an anticipated move. Five, tight risk, risking the low of the consolidation range. Yeah, so it's, it, it's important when you're building your playbook to get a feel for why this trade is gonna work. If you're gonna spend time building your career from a playbook and you're going to practice and put money in play from your playbook, you want to sort of understand like why are these trades working as, as, as best you can that gives you more confidence 
unless you're just a quant, which is fine. Maybe some of you will become quantitative traders. But even a, even a quantitative trader is gonna, is gonna wanna have confidence for why it's gonna work. I'll give you an example. So I'm reading uh, the Jim Simon's book, which I'm sure plenty of you have read, and talks about the, the birth of Renaissance and uh, how they developed into, you know, probably one of the great money management firms of all time, if not the top. And, you know, the story behind Renaissance is uh, it was a firm that was first started by mathematicians, mainly from the Stony Brook math department, SUNY Stony Brook in Long Island, who uh, were trying to solve the markets through math, through analyzing data. And one of the first big discoveries that they made was done so by analyzing data. And that this is this is certainly raw for today's terms. They were pioneering how to be gathering data, sorting through it, and finding edge by doing math and finding patterns in data. And so the data wasn't anywhere near as vast as it is now. But the, the, but the ideas are the same, which is, you know, how do I, how do I find edge? How do I find patterns based on using big data and coming up with quantitative models? And when they came up with one of their first very promising models, you know, Jim Simons, incredibly gifted mathematician who, whose goal and starting Renaissance was to have a quantitative model who he could rely on because he didn't really like the ups and downs of trading when he used his discretion. He had trouble stomaching it. He wanted to have a way to invest in markets that was more quantitative and fit his unique talents a little bit better. And when presented with a quantitative model that he had been looking for, that was, that was promising and was working, granted on small size. He felt uncomfortable running it, Jim Simons felt uncomfortable running it because he didn't quite understand why the model was spitting out buy and sell signals. And because he couldn't understand, he had less confidence in it. And it, it, it even for somebody whose goal it was and who was so gifted in math, it took them time to, to get used to that. So, you know, our human nature is if we can if we can understand why these trades are more likely or not to work, we're gonna just naturally as discretionary traders be have more confidence in them. So that makes sense. And then I your reasons to sell. Blow off top, number one. Number two, the nine or twenty one EMA cross squeeze upward trend is over coleman can you talk to can you explain what you mean by that yeah um so as price is squeezing higher the nine ema is going to be above the 21 ema and likely when we see the back side of the trade the nine ema will cross back under the 21 ema showing that the trend is likely over and the price of the stock is overextended relative to that day. All right, great. Three, resistance or price target is hit. That could be um, a pivot point. That could be a, a capitulation area that's uh, overhanging. Maybe that could be all-time highs. Um, it could be a multiple of things. And then the unusual seller on the tape, usually like what you see is the ask start to get really big um, at a whole number. It's likely to be at like a big number and the price isn't able to break through that and maybe you see it test a couple times and it fail at that level and then we'll likely see continuation lower and then uh your stop hits so i was just your reason to sell is uh, your stop is uh if a price breaks below the consolidation so you're having a super tight risk 
All right, good. And how do you feel about these, these trades overall, these two trades that you've identified? I really hope to see them again. I see that the risk reward in them is so high. If I take these trades like hundreds and hundreds of times, uh, even if I have a 50% win rate, the, the risk reward is so high that it, all the losses will, all the wins will weigh out all the losses. All right, great. So let's keep taking more of them. Let's get those filters going. Yeah, really like the trade for you. Really like the trade for the guys listening. Powerful trade. Encourage you to take more of them. It's a trade that absolutely works. A trade you absolutely can start seeing success in pretty quickly. So good stuff. Really like the variables, Re really good job there. Hey, go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos they're producing for you in the trading community. And please take the time to add your feedback in the comments section for what videos you'd like for us to produce next and what you found helpful from this video from all of us at SMB, train and trade well.